Okay. Right. Let's just get on with it. Okay. So, uh, four cheese pizza. That's our goal right now. Get all those achievements. So let's set my rivals. Let's open up the Vival the Moroccan dudes. Let's go and embargo them as well. I don't even know the terms for anything anymore. I've forgotten every, absolutely everything about this game. And what's the Thompson and how was it on Tunis? There we go. Of course, yeah. Of course, I need that. All right. There we go. Power projections going up. All right. Free advisor slot. Do I have any spare cash? No, is the answer to that. Not with like, the corruption needs to go up, maintenance needs to come down. Um, fleet maintenance, I'm going to leave for now. Where's my main fleet? Barks, carracks, and cogs, they can be mothballed. These can be split in half. I mean, I've, I've never really figured out how to do trade properly, but I think for now we'll just go to. Oh, God. Wow, okay. Uh, let's go to. Safi, and then let's go to Seville as well. I don't know how it even works. I still don't know how that works. I pretend to know how that works. All right. Okay. Right. Okay. Uh, Alfonso de Alves has got the expansions. Fine. I mean, I, mean, I suppose we're going to have to think about it at some point. Um, let's then pause it. Level one. Uh, there we go. I, I have to think about at some point how we're gonna actually how strong do we make Portugal? I mean, do we just do the minimum, a minimum colony in each place? Potentially is something. I mean, I'm not allied with Castile yet. Maybe it's worth doing that for now. I mean, I don't, I don't plan on destroying Castile. I don't plan on taking any of their land whatsoever. Lewis, please explain the game to me. Okay, so. If you need, basically, what you can do, what you, have, you can select a, like a nation to play as. You play as the nation, and it's your job to see the nation through its through its lifetime, really, from fourteen forty four all the way up to like eighteen twelve or whenever the game ends, something like that. Um, you have a load of different things you can do. I mean, you've got your like uh, like mana, I guess you call. Would you call it mana? I guess I suppose you would. But I mean, you've got like your treasuries. So that's how much coins you've got. And gold ducats, or your manpower, which it's um, used for your armies, your sailors, which is used for how many like your boats. We use a certain number of sailors, or ships. We use a certain number of sailors. Your stability of your government. So the higher your stability, the better, really. And the more stability you've got, the more money you earn, etc. Corruption is bad. If you have, it, it, I mean, that goes up depending on lots of different things, including religion of your country. Which at the moment we are lovely, a lovely Catholic. Oh, apart from one province over here, which is part of Morocco, which is Morocco's former territory, which is uh, Creta or Kuta, and that's Moroccan. So, yeah, there's loads of different things you can do with your country. Um, and you've got a court with advisors, it costs money, it'll give you certain things. So, um, yeah, being a little shit in corruption. I, I mean, it's not, I, yeah, I mean, you'll get certain events that will pop up that might give you more corruption. You might. Because some might be slightly more corrupt, but earn more uh, military power or military technology, for instance. So you earn each month in the game. You earn a certain number of things. So you earn your gold, except you learn gold. You learn prestige, leg legitimacy, and then like how powerful you are. But you also earn um, administrative power, diplomatic power, military power, and that's based on your leader, amongst other things. But mainly your leader. So currently, my twelve-year-old guy has given me. Four, two, and one, respectively, of each one. And uh, overall, I'm getting six, seven, three each month because you get a plus three by default. And I'm focusing on administrative, well, dip the diplomatic side of it. Uh, and you use those for various things. You can use them to improve your capital city or well, one of your capital city, or cap just your capital, but any city really you can choose to improve. And the better the city, the more money it will make, the more manpower it will give you. Etc. Um, and you can also use it to hire generals on the military tab. Um, which again, generals is a if you're in combat, the, the general is um, 
leader of your troops and the higher the better he is the better you go doing combat so we've got a really good general he's a three fire three shock three maneuver um each one of those stats will the higher it is the better it they'll be in combat um and combat is your men versus their men sort of a, a virtual dice is rolled and your modifiers are added onto it effectively um another way you might spend those points is through technology your technology will uh in, technology is one of the big parts of the game and uh your your military tech will go up over time which will give them lock new unit types market your diplomatic technology will go up which will unlock certain buildings you can build in your provinces and uh, all these things give you more money and more manpower uh, allow you to become a, more, a stronger nation so um but yeah you'll see as we go on as we, as we go you'll see how all these things work as well so i'm just going to speed it up here so uh what i want to do now is i want to actually try and find an ally i think castile is probably my best bet to be fair so let's open up dynastic uh, so here's one of the pop-ups in the game so it's telling me that poland has a, had an event and they've chosen to appoint a local noble as their leader instead of having a personal union of lithuania which is pointless so basically that they've just confined themselves to the uh, history books they're just going to get wrecked more or less now so i'm going to grab a royal, royal marriage with castile uh, thank you very much and i'm also going to probably improve relations with france and improve relations with Austria. For now, because they're the powerhouses, Austria is the leader of the Holy Roman Empire, which you can see, if I click that button, Holy Roman Empire, Frederick III von Habsburg. Um, and you can see, if you go to the political map mode, pirates keep fucking raiding me, little bastards. Uh, yeah, so there's the Holy Roman Empire. So they're a bit of a beast at the start as well throughout the, throughout the game. Uh, yeah. Steal above me alliance, which I'll accept because I wanted that anyway. I'll then begin to improve relations with them when I can. Third gen. So, yeah, I'll wait for that. Uh, I don't need my forts up now because having a fort up will cost me maintenance. So, fort here. It's going to cost me money. I don't, I don't need to spend at the moment. There's lots of other mechanics as well. Each, each province has a. Each county has a. Religion, a culture, a tax modifier, production modifier, and loads of other modifiers as well. So it's got a nice port, it's got a lovely river, it's been raided, and it's got some trading going on, which all gives it. These pirates, seriously, right, where's my fleet? Fuck them. Fuck these guys. Ah, England's gone to war. That could prove interesting, actually. Um, England's gone to war. Which means I'm actually start off the game as England's ally. They might call me in. I may tell them to fuck off and just just dishonor that alliance because I don't care about it. Um, hmm. Say the game. Uh, I can select a naval doctrine, which I'm not going to do because it's just going to cost me loads of. Oh, I've got a special one here. Let's see. Portuguese marines to establish a truly global, global empire. We must be launching assaults and enemy forts from the sea. Naval blockade, in fact. Hmm. Okay, that could be useful, but I don't want to do it right now, so I'm just going to hide that notification. I'm going to hide the... I can send my, my army out as a, a mercenary, which I don't want to do. Um, unrest, that's fine. So as a province has unrest, such as this one, because it's the wrong religion and it's the wrong culture, rebels will slowly try and rise up, and if that hits 100%, rebel factions hit 100%, they'll rise up in a certain thousand, seventy thousands of men will rise up and have to go kill them all and sort of just crush the rebellion um, I have truces with Granada I must admit, I previously was at war with them before the game started and it's a dispute succession just ignore it that's just a waste of time even being there I just completely ignore it um, so let's see if England call me into this war which will be interesting they probably will it'll just pop up here in a minute if they call me in which is not wouldn't surprise me if they do so I'm now going to hunt pirates in Seville because it's doing my head in so let's go and do that for now. Okay. Speed up to speed two. I think that's going to get things going a bit quicker. So the goal is really to explore. When I get when I get a certain number of uh, technology, I can head off and explore the rest of the map. And to make one of the achievements, which is um, not such a sad, not so sad a state, I need a colony in Brazil 
and I've already forgotten the, the name of the other one. Um, not such a sad state. Uh, Africa. So I need Africa and Brazil. So I need to head off and get a colony in Brazil, which needs me to colonize five provinces and it will form into a colony, or six provinces, it forms into a colony. And then I need to head off down to Africa and have a colony there. Now, can I have a colony in Africa? Have a colony in Brazil and Africa. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll have to figure out how that's going to work. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but it must be possible, obviously, because it was in the game. So, okay, we've got a bit, bit of cash in the, uh, in the old pot there. So, I think we go up another speed here. I already have two islands here. What have you got two? I've got the I've got Madeira and I've got the Azores as well. So, uh, yes, it's not too bad. And the previous versions of the game, Morocco starts off as one place, but for some reason, in the latest patches, which I don't know why, Marrakesh, uh, Dafalat, and Sus have been released as vassals of Morocco. So, vassals basically means that he owns these places. They're kind of like puppets in a way. So, he, he's one country and he just kind of owns the others and eventually you can integrate them over time. That's how that works. I mean, do we afford an advisor? I think we should probably afford an advisor because we really want to grab. Um, what we want to get is diplomatic tech. We really want to get that as high as we can because if we go to our ideas tab here, which tells you all of Portugal's ideas as a nation, um, all these things will give us like bonuses as such. And we, want to, we want to especially get the first one because that gives us colonial range, 25%. We definitely want that. Because when we get to National Ideas 5, we can unlock one of these millions of ideas here. And the one we want is Exploration. Quest for the New World allows us to recruit explorers and conquistadors, which allows us to find the continents we need to land on. That's what we need. So we really need Diplotech to get that up. But firstly, we, we need to get uh, National Ideas, which is administrative level 5. So we need admin and diplomatic, really. Um, and then military to stay with everything. So we need everything, really. And at this point, we're kind of getting six and seven here. So what I want to do is go for, someone's claimed them territory, I don't care, and go for military, to be honest. I think that's what we want to do. I'm going to grab this land maintenance guy, 31 year old Portuguese dude. Uh, we'll grab him. Thank you very much. Now I currently have here a little cam. Dog cam, effectively, reg cam, to see where my what my dog is doing. And I currently cannot see my dog. I don't know where he is. That's uh, interesting, interesting development. Hopefully, he'll come back. I'll give him ten minutes. See where he returns to. See where he's gone. Interesting. Probably eating something, shouldn't we? Um, yeah, so this early game, I mean, nothing's really happening. I'm surprised, I'm really surprised England hasn't called me into their war. Um, I'm quite glad he hasn't called me into his war, to be honest. I really don't want to get involved in that sort of stuff. Really don't want to get involved in that. It's not much I can do right now. I mean, I could hire my army out as uh, like mercenaries, but I mean, I could hire my army out as mercenaries to France to fight my ally in a war. That would be interesting. Uh, Morocco's declared war on Flemson. That's nice. I mean, I could go to Morocco for some territory if I wanted to. I mean, I don't have claims, but it could happen. It could be a thing. But no, realistically, I want to head down the coast because I already can see a province here, Arguin, which I really want to colonize. And as soon as I can, I will, if it's possible, to get to the new world quicker. So I know that you've got um, the Canary Islands, not the Canary Islands, they're the Canaries, um, but you've got the. Um, another set of islands down here I can't remember what they're called but there's one there's a set of islands down there and they're the ones that I want to grab before Spain because they're kind of my colonial rivals here uh, oh lovely Comet Sighted uh, this is kind of like a paradox which is like developer and a publisher of the game uh, they're like Comet Sighted is kind of a thing that runs through their games and it's usually a bad thing and in this case every single option is a bad thing there's a way of getting around it but I haven't got that advisor employed he kind of gives you another option so oh Peasants are always superstitious, and the appearance of a comet in the sky has caused panic among our people. 
they're convinced this is a sign of the times. Blah blah blah. It's the economy fools. And I'm immediately gonna not whack it up because it's gonna cost me 105 admin tech. I cannot afford to do that. Granada wants military access through me. No, no thanks. I don't do that. They've been pulled into the war with uh, Clemson by Morocco. Interesting. Do I need to have my navy hunting pirates still? Probably. I really don't want to have any more pirates. I mean, I can afford, can afford it still. I mean, I'm still learning a couple of gold a month here, so I'm happy with that. Oh, I can see him. I can see my dog. He's lying down there. He's just camouflaged into the into the carpet because it's on night vision camera, and he's a brown dog, and it's a brown carpet and a brown floorboard. <laughs> The outline of him. Uh, okay, so I mean, the other mechanics you've got in this game: religion. Um, so, at the moment, I'm Catholic, which I can tell from my religion tab here. I'm Catholic. It gives me tolerance of the true faith and tolerance of heretics. Blah de blah de blah. Other like bonuses that you don't really have to care about until later on when you need to start capturing territory. Um, so, and. What you, what you can do is you can you have so many papal influence you gain a month through the uh, like amount of provinces you own that are Catholics basically and um, it's based on the Pope's opinion of it actually I don't know if that's what that's given me here it tells me here that I'm gaining a base value of 0.5 but that's only gone, that's only gone up by 12.5% because of my Opinion, the Pope's opinion of me. Anyway, uh, oh, a new king. Brilliant. My king has come to the throne. So, Alfonso V, the Elvis, is my dynasty. Um, and he's not too bad, to be fair. He's not the, he's not the worst place, the person I've ever had. Okay, some random events in the country, so that's fine. I have no heir at this point, which is interesting. Um, can I get a royal marriage with anyone? Not my people I'm trying to improve relations with. No, they have not decided to rule marry, want to rule marry me. Probably because they're over the relations limit. Yeah, they're, too, they're over, the relation, over the relations limit. You can see there at the bottom of that uh, list. They're minus 50 chance. Even then, they probably wouldn't because they don't really like me. I'm too far away. Um, France, probably because... Oh, France isn't that far off, actually. End of the month, I could probably get one. Maybe a couple of months' time when the relations got. Was that already maxed out? Nine more. I think potentially I could get a royal marriage with the uh, France here. Let's come back from Austria. From improved relations Austria. There we go. It's unlocked. Nice. Let's wait the ten days to get my dude back and get a royal marriage. Oh, nice. <laughs> the AI has given me some money because their guy is a is is a dude and he's a dude man and he's going to give me some cash. Nice. Thanks very much. And I'll grab that royal marriage. There we go, with France. And now I've got a new consort. So Anne, my French wife, is now the Queen Consort. And she is basically just like a placeholder for now. What will happen is if I have a kid, and then, oh my god, this 15-year-old is really in, in the money here, isn't he? Wow. Wow. The old Middle Ages, eh? Not really the Middle Ages anymore, technically. But, yeah. 15th century. What a time to be 15 and king. So yeah, he's uh so basically when if I have any kids with this woman and then she die and then my kid I die and my kid's like one, she'll take over and be in charge until he's of age, which wouldn't be a bad thing. Five six four, uh, she's fantastic as a uh, as a wife. We'll maintain that relationship with France as best we can and we can build something now. But I think at the start yeah we can just build a fort. I don't want to spend 200 gold on a fort for now. It's not required. It's just it as Portugal is like pretty much a waste of time. I may, because also in this you have a number of missions, which can be found under your missions tab. So, English Alliance here. Um, what's this? I gain claims on some areas. One of the must be true. England's. Why would I want to become England for? Oh, because I probably. Oh, this is to do. Oh, it's if I want to become Spain, basically. Do I want to become? Do I want to become form Spain? Because I, I have a decision here. If I capture all of Spain, and I can form it militarily, 
which I don't really want to do. I really don't want to do that, so I don't care about this English Alliance mission. Uh, beyond Cape Bolgador, I've added it. No, no, that's right. I think that's right. Uh, Portugal's discovered any province in the West African coast area, and I have at least one colonist. That's fine. That gives me some better chance to colonise, and that gives me loads of different colonial options, which we definitely want to do. A flagship. Yes, we probably do want to. Oh, I get a claim on Leon. The French, not the French Leon either, the uh, Spanish Leon. Why do I want claims on Spain? I really don't want those. Um, competitive advantage, advantage. Oh, I basically have to hit my naval force limit because your army, my current army size is 14, which is 14,000 people. So I can go up to 18,000 people. And my ships, I can have another two ships if I wanted to. Um, I don't know if I want another two ships. I might as well get a couple more trade ships. Let's build them. Mm, actually, do I want to increase my power of my fleet or. I've got three Carracks. Let me get one Carrack and one trade ship. Let's do that. Let's build a Carrack. It's going to take six, 602 years. Just under two years. Two and a half years. No, one and a half years. No, two and a half. Fuck it. Two years. Over two years. Under two years. A number of days. 678 days. Make of that what you want. So I'm going to build another one, but I'm going to build a trade ship up here because I want a trade ship to increase my trade power. Because the more trade power you have in a node, a trade node, here's the trade map. Mine's mainly Seville. Which in fact, everything I own is in Seville. The more power I have in the trade node of Seville, the more money I'll make from it. The moment, Spain's got 41% of the trade. Air trade power is 170. Mine is 115. So I'm the second power, most powerful there. I earn a couple of gold. My other traders are currently pushing trade power in from this node here and from Tunis over here, which I have some power in. So trades are mechanic I usually tend to ignore a lot. I'm just, I mean, that's bad, but that's how I play. So, um, so this is an event. This is a specifically Portuguese event. And what this event is telling me is that um, I've got two options, uh, which will result in two outcomes, but they'll be give me each one's probably got a bonus and a disadvantage. So, effectively, King Alfonso was only six years old when he became the King of Portugal. The first six years of his reign, the country had been ruled by the Duke of Cumbria. Don Alfonso has no reason has had no reason for complaint. And by most accounts, his regency has been just an efficient one. However, with the young king reaching, uh, with the young king reaching majority, that's a, that's a typo. I found a typo. It should be maturity, surely. No? Just me? With the young king reaching majority, maturity, there are now many in the court who would try to influence their monarch. Uh, jealous of the duke's influence, a group of noblemen have been trying to sow discord between him and the king, trying to frame him as a would-be rebel. In a last attempt to mend relations, the, the Duke of Cumbria has arrived the number of retainers who seek an alliance with Don Alfonso. So, I can either... So it was true, death to him and his men, so I can either kill him off because he's been a twat um, trying to increase his relations um, or he's been framed um, I can if he's been framed then I can say we must place our trust in our dear friend and mentor I think in reality he was killed that's what happened in real life um, and because I'm minus stability he's dead <coughs> thanks very much thanks for the three stability I will take it take stability over pretty much everything else so um, yes Okay, so I'm a sip of my unbranded carbonated drink there. Um, okay. Um, we've got a couple of, yeah, 10% of the Moroccan rebels. Oh, I don't care about them. Um, improvements in trade tech. I can gain some inflation. Oh yeah, there's an entire inflation mechanic as well, which is in your economy tab. So I, all the things I own and have to maintain cost me money. Um, but then I gain money from my trade, my production, and my taxation. Taxation, production, and trade, to an extent, are based on the province. Um, and that, that counts to my total income. There's only other things as well I can get money for. My forts cost me money as well, my army, etc. When my army men is down, they're useless in combat, will die immediately. So um, I can either, for this, they're going to try and give me some increased trade technology. I really don't want the inflation. So I'm just going to take 10 diplomatic power, which I mean, I kind of probably should have gone for the 50, really. Because then I want to get a diplomat, but I need admin first, so it's fine. I have a free diplomat. Max relations with Castile, that's good. Um, oh, hello. Looks stellar. 
The thread of fate is fickle and the balance is, and balance is on the razor's edge between the sublime and the eternal. The fickle are the vagaries of destiny. Vagaries of destiny. I don't think I've ever said that word in my whole life. Jupiter ascendant and the moon is in the seventh house. He, who is he? I do not know, but the stars foretell that a man born to a royal house on this day shall one day be the ruler of a mighty kingdom. Thus the astrologer spoke. Today the queen gave birth to a child. I get the choice. You can either call him Alexander, the abbess, Caesar, the abbess, or Johann. Now, based on what we want to increase here, I mean, Alexander would be pointless because it would give me military, which I don't really care about at this point. Caesar would give me six admin, which would bump me up to an admin tech quicker. Or Johann, which actually is a nice in between point. So, I mean, we can count the pips up. So, he's got 10 overall pips. He's 13, so he's better. And he's actually 15 pips. So, I think I'm going to go with Johan because he is actually better overall than all the others and it's more balanced. So, we've gone for Johan, and now we can see our little dude, Johan the Abyss. There he is. Our little baby boy. Thompson is no longer a valid rival because Morocco has just kicked his ass basically and Tunis has kicked his ass. So now I have to unembargo him because it's costing me more money to embargo him than I'm actually getting back. So I revoke my embargo and pick a new. I mean you have to click, when you want to click make a new rival you have to click your own nation then go to your diplomatic tab and then you can click a new rival. Either Granada or Castile and it's definitely not Castile so it's Granada and then I will embargo them. I can't because I've still got a truce with them. Which expires when? Is my truce for the mixed buyer? Uh, 1449, so I've got another year. Not even a year, a few months. I can embargo them. That's fine. I got plus 25. Long time rival. Eclipsed Thunson. Wow, so because Morocco took out Thunson, Morocco and Tunis took out Thunson there, I actually eclipsed them and it gave me more power projection, which again gives me all those following effects there. So my Ramarella of Armies, Prestige, all that business. And really, you want over 50. It's over 50, gives you a plus one to all your manners here, which you really want. It's great. Uh, so this war is still going on between France and uh, England, which is the um, surrender of Maine, which is one of the wars in the Hundred Years Wars, which is a collection of wars that went on for an amount of time that is more or less Hundred Years. It's not exactly. It's, uh, you know, it's less. It's more. You know. You, yeah. Whatever. You Google it. It's on Wikipedia. There you go. Um, but it's. Um, yeah, the, the, yeah. The Hundred Years' Wars wasn't just one continual war. It was under, like a just a collection of battles and wars over so many years. So in this one is current war. England are losing. France have a plus forty-eight in this war out of a hundred. Um, it's the English-French unification war. So if England somehow wins, wins this war, they will. And uh, that's my truce over with Grenada. They will somehow we become like a personal union and a personal union looks like this a junior partner in a personal union so Aragon has Naples as a personal union which means they're a separate country but their monarch owns it it's similar to a puppet but you have slightly less you can do with it they've got slightly more autonomy as a uh, as part of the union 